A compass works by detecting Earth's magnetic field. The field extends from Earth's deep interior out into space, serving as a protective shield around our planet from things such as solar radiation. Throughout Earth's history, the field has spent approximately half of its time pointing north uh, and half of its time pointing south. In other words, a magnetic reversal would cause your compass to point south. When the field reverses polarity, it undergoes massive change, all of which changes the amount of shielding we get from radiation. Professor Andrew Roberts is a geophysicist who uses geologic and fossil records to better understand Earth's magnetic field and how magnetic minerals record past climate changes. The last polarity reversal happened about 780,000 years ago. It's hard to predict the timing of the next switch, but it will impact the strength of the magnetic field. So, could that lead to an increase in skin cancer rates or even animal or plant extinctions? We're on the cusp of being able to address questions like that that historically have been much harder to address. Research into paleomagnetism can also help us better understand climate change. If a mountain belt has eroded away and is no longer there, the sedimentary record tells you about its former existence. So by looking at the geological record, we can reconstruct what climate looked like in the past. And Professor Roberts will go to any length to piece that puzzle together. He's conducted field work on every ocean basin and every continent, including three field seasons in Antarctica. The level at which humans have perturbed climate is of an equivalent to the warmest states we had several million years ago. I find the response to the threat of climate change quite depressing. You know, many of us have been working for decades on these issues and, and the science is in. We know what's happening. I have a fair bit of optimism that humans are creative and can find solutions, and I'd like to see a whole lot more work being done in that space. Given his work in Antarctica, he says he feels particularly honoured to receive the Mawson Medal, named after famed geologist and Antarctic explorer Sir Douglas Mawson. Professor Roberts has been recognised for his significant contribution to Earth sciences.